In today's Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom, you're going to hear about the most important story you tell. And here's a hint. It's not a story that you share with audiences. Darren Hardy is a leader in the success movement. He was the editor-in-chief of Success Magazine for about two decades, and I listened to his daily tips. It's a great way to start your day. In a recent tip, Darren asked an important question. What is the story about your life that you're buying into? I thought, well, that's an interesting question. He went on to explain that many of the limitations that people have are because of stories they tell themselves about limitation. That hit a nerve with me. If you've watched these tips for any length of time, you may have heard me talk about how I became part of a group of coaches called Stage Time University. The origin of that story is back in 2003, my friend Darren LaCroix, who was a world champion speaker at the time, started a group of coaches to help people become better speakers and presenters. That became a goal of mine, to become one of those speakers one day, or one of those coaches, I should say. Well, there was one problem. I didn't have the qualification that all the coaches at that time had, and that was they were each a world champion of public speaking. That became a goal. For the next 10 years, roughly, I competed every year, and I wanted to win that world championship. Not so much for the title, that would have been nice, that would have been a side bonus, but I wanted to be part of that group. And every year I competed, I didn't win the title. So as the years went on, I kept telling myself this story that I was not going to be a part of that group. I could never be a part of it unless I had that title. Well, something interesting happened in 2015. I was invited to become part of the stage time faculty, uh, more as kind of like a junior assistant to help out on weekly calls, to, to be there to help Darren and the other coaches with some of their coaching issues. Within two years, I was emceeing their main event in Las Vegas. And around that same time, I was asked to become a coach along with the other coaches. And it didn't occur to me till one day I was on stage sitting next to four of the other coaches in stage time that I had made it. I didn't win the world championship. I'm not a Hall of Fame speaker like everybody else on that stage was. Not there yet. But I'd made it. I can cover the reasons I made it in another video, but the bottom line is this. The story I kept telling myself that I would not be a coach because I didn't have the title held me back. It held me back from going for speaking opportunities, coaching opportunities. It definitely kept me in a job I didn't want to have because I had this dream of being a, a coach, a trainer, an author, and a speaker full time. It held me back until 2017, until my friend Darren gave me an opportunity because he saw what I had been doing behind the scenes, the work I was putting in to become a coach. He gave me an opportunity when I didn't have that title that everyone else had. But the question I have for you in this tip is what story are you telling yourself that's limiting you? Is it about your job? Is it about your capabilities, your relationships, your finances? There's something that's holding you back in your life. What story are you telling yourself? And are you willing to change that narrative so you can break beyond that self-imposed barrier to a higher level of achievement in whatever your goal is? Ask yourself this tough question, and more importantly, take the time to answer it. We'll talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.